So today, I thought we'd talk about my gear wrench e-spec digital torque wrench and the failure I encountered and how long it actually took to get repaired. So most of you have probably seen this torque wrench. I reviewed it. You know, it had really good accuracy of sub 1%. And at the time, you know, I thought it was a decent value. It's currently gone up in price from what I actually paid. You know, it held up after a thousand cycles and I decided to keep it. So a few months after that, I went to use it like normal. And what had happened was the display, you could hold the power button, the lights on the side would flash, but the display would not power up. And this happened in July. Fast forward to now, I got the torque wrench back late October. So we're talking four months of actual downtime without this torque wrench. Now it was under warranty, but it actually had to go to an outside calibration company here on the East Coast. Gear Wrench has you actually ship it to Angle Repair and Calibration, Beckley, West Virginia. Now I had to pay the shipping to ship it out, so you do have that cost. They received it and a week later I got a call saying, yes, we verified it, the display is bad. They couldn't repair it and actually had to order a new torque wrench. So again, from them receiving it and getting a replacement from gear wrench and then shipping it back to me, that was four months. Now to prove to you that it is brand new, if we go to usage summary, you can see the torque wrench has seven actual counts on it. So before they sent this back to me, angle repair and calibration tested it to make sure it was actually accurate. So I wanted to give you guys an update on this because originally I thought it was a pretty good torque wrench. Now I'm questioning that because of the failure there and the price has gone up. So during that failure, I ended up using the trusty icon here, which has been problem free. But that's one thing we, we do need to discuss there is if I had that failure here with this, if this screen failed, I could walk in to Arbor Freight and get a free replacement. Now, if it was out of calibration, of course, that would be where I'd have to send it off and have it recalibrated like any other torque wrench. But if I actually had a failure here, you know, lifetime warranty, take it in and get it exchanged. And to me, in most scenarios, that's actually better than even what Snap-on can offer. You know, in that scenario, it really depends on the franchisee, if they're gonna loan you a torque wrench or you're gonna be on your own. But there, yeah, I mean, if it has to be repaired or calibrated, it goes to CDI, which Snap-on owns. To me, the best bang for your buck is, is definitely this Icon Torque Wrench. So I'll leave the test video below originally on this. Yeah, again, the accuracy was really good, but yeah, definitely a little concerning there with the display failure uh, and then the turnaround time to get it, well, replaced in this scenario, so. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll catch you on another one.